A self-fulfilling prophecy is a prediction that directly or indirectly causes itself to become true. This occurs due to the influence of the prediction on people's behaviors and attitudes. For instance, if a person believes they will succeed in a task, they may work harder and be more attentive, thus increasing their chances of success. Conversely, if they believe they will fail, they may not put in as much effort, which could lead to actual failure. This concept, first defined by sociologist Robert K. Merton, highlights the powerful role of perception and expectation in shaping reality. It's prevalent in various social contexts, including education, business, and interpersonal relationships. Negative beliefs about the opposite gender can also manifest as self-fulfilling prophecies, influencing interpersonal dynamics and perpetuating stereotypes. For instance, if someone holds a belief that the opposite gender is not competent in a particular field, they may unconsciously treat individuals of that gender in a way that discourages them from pursuing or excelling in that field. This behavior can lead to those individuals underperforming or avoiding that field altogether, thus seemingly confirming the original belief. This cycle can reinforce gender stereotypes and create barriers to equality. It's crucial to challenge such beliefs and expectations to break this cycle and promote more equitable social interactions. In underprivileged communities, self-fulfilling prophecies can have a significant impact on students' academic performance. If teachers hold preconceived notions that students from these communities are less likely to succeed due to their socio-economic background, it can negatively influence their expectations and interactions with these students. For instance, they might provide less encouragement, fewer resources, or not challenge these students as much as others. As a result, students may internalize these lowered expectations, leading to decreased self-esteem and motivation, which can ultimately impact their academic performance. This can perpetuate a cycle of underachievement that aligns with the initial negative prophecy. Conversely, if teachers maintain high expectations for all students regardless of their background and provide the necessary support and resources, they can help break this cycle. Students are more likely to strive to meet these expectations, leading to improved academic performance and breaking the pattern of the self-fulfilling prophecy. This highlights the importance of educators' beliefs and expectations in shaping students' academic outcomes, particularly in underprivileged communities. When men hold negative stereotypes about women, such as viewing them as manipulative or gold diggers, it can lead to a self-fulfilling prophecy that affects interpersonal relationships. These men may approach relationships with distrust and suspicion, which can influence their behavior towards women. They might be less open, less generous, or more defensive, creating a hostile or uncomfortable environment. In response to this behavior, women may react defensively or withdraw from the relationship, which could be misinterpreted as manipulative behavior or materialistic intent, seemingly confirming the men's initial negative beliefs. This cycle can perpetuate the stereotype and create a barrier to healthy, respectful relationships. It's important to note that these stereotypes are harmful and unjust, and they do not reflect the behavior or intentions of all women. Breaking this cycle requires challenging these stereotypes, promoting empathy and understanding, and treating each individual as just that, an individual, not a stereotype.